So if you aren't living under a rock, you have heard of the game Minecraft. Minecraft has had a lot of different versions that can be seen as nostalgic to many players. In this video, we will explore the major turning points of the game as well as just what makes these versions so nostalgic for the players. First off, let me introduce myself, I'm Envious Games. As someone who has been playing this game for a very long time, I feel as though Minecraft is quite possibly the perfect embodiment of a game that never really got old. Myself and many others have so many memories of the earlier versions. Maybe it was just an old creative world, or maybe it was as simple as just playing the original game before any of the major changes to it. For me, I remember coming home from elementary school every day with a good friend of mine to play Minecraft 1.5. This version was clearly known as the Redstone Update. I personally never played the Redstone Update on Java, but I clearly remember the showcase of the newly added piston in an Xbox 360 tutorial world. Speaking of worlds, Minecraft 1.7, also known as the update that changed the world, added many of the biomes and structures that we still see in the game today. I remember that this was the version that my brother actually quit Minecraft for good, and when I started playing in his place. That timing couldn't have been any better for me because the next update discussed in this video is Minecraft 1.9. 1.9 was called the Combat Update. This was a complete revamp of Minecraft Combat as we knew it, by adding a timed attack system, dual wielding, spectral and tipped arrows, and shields. Though many play on version 1.8 for PvP, 1.9 was a very solid update in the sense of combat mechanics. Minecraft 1.12 was the last version before most major changes of the game happened. This update was called the World of Color update, which added things like more bed colors, glazed terracotta, and concrete. I feel as though it is the most updated version of the game that can still be considered a classic. This version also added a new and arguably better crafting and achievement system, making the game just look plain and simple better than it did before. Speaking of changes, Minecraft 1.13, or the Aquatic Update, completely overhauled the oceanic features of the game. It added things to the world like coral reefs, underwater ruins, and shipwrecks. This version also adds the Conduit, which is a new utility item used to damage nearby mobs underwater. There are also new mobs such as visible fish like the cod, salmon, pufferfish, and tropical fish. A new hostile mob is also added called the drowned. Think of it like a water zombie, but possible loot from them includes the newly added trident. This item can do a lot for a player. It can be used as a ranged weapon with a loyalty enchantment. The player can now fly during rainstorms via the riptide enchantment. and you can even summon lightning using the channeling enchantment. Minecraft 1.16 offered a plethora of additions to the game. This was called the Nether Update. Pre-1.16, the Nether Dimension was very bare, with not too many of the features that the overworld holds. Now the Nether has many biomes, such as the Warped Forest, Crimson Forest, Basalt Delta, and Soul Sand Valley. With new biomes comes many new blocks, most importantly being warped and crimson planks. That's right, you can now get wood in the nether when you absentmindedly forgot to bring some from the overworld. The nether is now even more hostile than ever before, adding mobs like hoglins and at long last picklins. 1.17 and 1.18, also known as the Caves and Cliffs update, completely reworked the caving experience with the introduction of Deep Slate. You can now go 64 blocks deeper than you ever could in previous versions, as the bottom bedrock level has been moved to Y level minus 64. And that brings us to our current version, 1.19, the Wild Update. This update added an underground generation called Ancient Cities. In this structure, a new entity called the Warden is added. I think of it like a mini-boss, in a sense. In ancient cities, the player has to move around without making any noise to attract the Warden, as it is extremely tanky and impossible to kill in one life. 
there's theories going around that there will be another dimension added to the game, using the portal-like structure that is found in ancient cities. All in all, Minecraft will continue to grow and expand from what it was in the past, and although all the previous generations were nostalgic, I feel as though Minecraft will stay relevant for generations to come. Thanks everyone for watching, and if you enjoyed, please leave a like, drop a sub, and join the Discord for exclusive and early access clips. And apart from that, I hope to see you guys in the next video.